Welcome in, Irish Nation, to the Golden Dawn Restaurant. I'm here with senior, junior, excuse me, linebacker, running back, Kevin Boudre. Kevin, thanks for joining me. You guys got a big win on the road against Villangelo St. Joseph last week. That was a, a tremendous one. You were one of the leading tacklers in that game. And what, what was it like getting that win against a team that it's been a continuous, you know, year after year battle between the two programs? Uh, it felt really good because, you know, we're going to see him in the playoffs again for sure. Felt really good, you know, because you know they got some guys who can make some plays, a lot of talented players. Talk you know. to me about how that game kind of progressed, because obviously you got out, off to a slow start, seven nothing end of the first quarter, or first play of the second, I should say, and it was a seven nothing game again at halftime. How did you guys respond in that second half? Not only offensively to score some points, but also defensively to keep up your good defense and kind of and you keep the thing close and, and end up having your team prevail in the end. Uh, just locking in, just locking in. That's all really. Um, the big talk in, the, uh, in like the locker room at halftime was just come out with energy, and just come out locked in. We were a little off in the beginning, as you said. So that was just the main talk at halftime. What was Coach Reardon's message to to you in the halftime um, locker room speech, and what was he uh, telling you guys at halftime? Uh, you know, we you know somebody says a lot. Uh, we weren't capable, like like we weren't playing how we're capable of, and like some do that is a big emphasis at practice. You know. A big emphasis that we have is just um, good practices day in and day out. You know, Tuesday practice was a little sloppy, but Wednesday was way better, which you can see as, like, the first half was like a Tuesday and the second right. half was like a Wednesday. That's helped us win. And that's, you know, you guys got the win. It was a, a great, you know, win. And it came down to special teams, really. I mean, of course, yeah. the defense got two big stops in the last yeah. two drives. But Anthony Tayback with that field goal ended up being the difference maker on the scoreboard. Mm. I mean, how, what is it like, you know, because not every high school team is a good kicker. Mm. And, you know, Anthony's been kick, making big kicks, you know, all season long. Mm. Even when Anthony playing soccer, he pushes himself every <laughs> right. day. And, like, um, how we do it is every kick we go back five yards. And he's think, talking to himself, I got to make this, I got to make this every time. And, of course, you know, he did it with a 35-yarder, mm. which is a few yards shy of his career long, which yeah. was no problem whatsoever. And now you guys got Cheney this upcoming week. Cheney, you know, it's, it's a Steel Valley game. Mm. They may not be playing their best football this year record-wise, but they're always a team that you can't take lightly. We've talked about this before you guys played East, and I'm sure we'll talk about it next week when you play Mooney. But another Steel Valley team, another tough team you can't take lightly. What's the mindset and approach going into that game? Uh, you know they're going to give us our best shot, you know. We know their players. They know our players. You know, we're real close. You know, they're going to give us our best shot. And, of course, you know, the defense has continued to play well. You know, was it 21 points um, on on Friday? If I'm not mistaken, or 17, excuse yeah, me. 17. I'm sorry. 17 points and another good defensive performance. And you're one of those leading tacklers on the team. You're starting at linebacker with John Frangos and a lot of other really good defensive players. You know, what's it like going out there? Because, you know, you've worked your way up from okay, playing JV football mm. to, you know, maybe be more of a running back last year mm. in terms of getting some good carries and games. So now you're starting at linebacker, and you're, you know, one of the better linebackers we have in the area. Uh, I knew I had to step up. You know, we lost a real good linebacker in Tyree Dunlow, one of the best in the area. And um, really, John Frangos, he helped me a lot through the off season, just pushing me. You know, I was really excited to play with John, too. And, of course – John, senior captain, and you know you being a junior, and I'm sure you're soaking as much as, as you can from him because he's played for a long time at that position. And what's it like being a part of that part that kind of anchors the defense? You got to know everything because yeah, you're gonna be maybe rushing the pass or hitting the gap, defending the run, or even maybe dropping back into pass coverage. What's it like, you know, trying to take in all that knowledge and process it in time for the game? That's real easy, especially with playing to John. Like John is just so smart when it comes to the game. You know, he has a 4.0 GPA. So it really helps when it like, comes to stuff like that. Right, and so what do you think it's going to take come Friday to get the win against Cheney? Because you are going on the road to a tough environment in Rand Stadium. Uh, physicalness, physicalness for sure. We know they're going to come out with energy, and we have to match that energy. But more so the part just being physical. We know they're going to try to run. You know, stop the run, we win the game. I know Coach Reardon, I'm sure, is preaching, you know, we're not going to look too far ahead to playoffs because you got to take care of business these next mm -hmm. two games in order to get that number one seed, which will, you know, put you at an advantage, of course. But – just a quick little talk with the playoffs. I mean, what is this next couple of games going to get you prepared for in terms of game one, two, three, whatever, how many games you play in the playoffs? Because you certainly want to be playing your best football at the right time, which will be around this time, right? Uh, this is going to help us get, like, look at certain different things that we're probably going to see in the playoffs, you know, some double wing stuff, stuff like that. And these last two games are still Valley rivalry games. 
And of course, the true only one and true rivalry you guys have is Mooney. Mm -hmm. But Steel, but Cheney's been a great battle throughout the years. You know, you guys know a lot of the players very well. I'm sure you know players on their team. And what, what's a, it's, a, it's a different feeling. Of course, you know you're playing to win every Friday, but it's a different feeling when you know some of the guys across the line. And there's also just a, a familiarity there. Yeah, it's like bragging rights, kind of. You know, you're playing against some of your friends. You know, you just want to do good against them because, you know, in the offseason, you can talk that trash. Right, right. Yeah. And lastly, what's your message to Irish fans going into Friday night to bring them out to Rand Stadium? Uh, come with a lot of energy, you know. we got to match it for sure. You know, they're going to be loud. We've got to be just as loud. And you guys can catch Kevin and the Irish on Friday at Rand Stadium. You might see him return some kicks because they keep it away from those dangerous retirement yeah. back there and he's one of the leading tacklers on this irish team and we'll see you guys friday night from rand stadium when the irish take on cheney thanks for joining me kevin we're at the golden dawn restaurant here on ysn live